I was born and raised in Brooklyn. Um, I grew up in Flatbush where growing up I didn't have much that I resonated with. You know, I'm an Asian American. My relationship with food is, is how I connect to others. Wherever I'm at, whether I'm visiting a different community that I'm familiar with, I feel like food is that common thing that brings people together. At the start of 2020, 1.2 million people in New York didn't have enough to eat. That's jumped to 1.6 million soon after the pandemic began. This chef is trying to feed those who often go hungry. Food is a basic need for everybody. If we have hungry people and we have food you know, that's left over, a simple approach was take the excess food, find the people that need food, and match them up. So, in August 2021, he started a new project. For our programs, More Than a Meal, um, we use technology in a very simple way to connect people to food resources. To provide a better choice and option of meals, something that we feel that is culturally appropriate. We work with community-based and local organizations to help sign up recipients. They can order a meal, locate a restaurant, choose off the menu, select the time in which they pick up a meal, Hey, like on the map? Yeah. You can show Nido. Yeah, okay. The restaurant meals are funded by donors, uh, where we have an impact map that allows individuals to donate based on re by restaurants, initiatives, or even by borough. So currently we have eight restaurants that are in the program. We're looking to enroll more restaurants through the program. Yeah. Um, and hope to have at least 15 to 25. We're feeding close to around 500 to 1,000 people. A lot of our recipients are seniors, college students, or just local residents that are currently going through some distress due to COVID. Uh, when it comes to feeding ourselves and nourishing ourselves, it's all something that we all can relate to. Over the past year during COVID, we've all experienced some type of void, whether it be the lack of food, the lack of entertainment, or just the ability to make personal choices where we were confined in our spaces. Being able to choose what you eat and how you're eating, it's a very empowering thing, which we hope can also transfer into other aspects of their lives. We want to open up the floodgates so that people give us feedback. They are vocal about what they eat and how they're being fed. I've come from a background of working in, in, in corporate America where I was an actuary uh, for about a decade. But at some point in my career, I didn't feel like that was enough. I wanted something that was a little bit more tangible. Creating experiences, building relationships with the community. And that took me to go back towards food and revisit my relationship with food. And ultimately down a career where I became a chef working in some of the best restaurants in the world. You know, often we have goals as chefs to maybe be the best restaurant, be the best chef but I think my goal was to just feed as many people as possible, build as many relationships and experiences that I felt were unique to those individuals. I feel like food is a cultural thing that allows us to gain empathy uh, for one another. I feel like there will be less wars if we can have more dinners. And it may sound cliche, but it is true. Thank you. Thank you.